Day 710 being Christopher Cruz. Um, so my uncle just messaged me. Um, he messaged me the other day and said, hey, I just wanna let you know you are really inspiring me. And he said, I'll send you more details later. And so he sent me a message this morning and he said, you are doing, the reason why you, you're inspiring me so much is because you are doing what other people say they are doing. And when, when I read that, I got the chills. You are doing what other people say they are doing. Um, and uh, what immediately, what I thought about was like being super vulnerable and documenting my life and, and trusting God and surrendering to God and like really taking, you know, actions of massive faith and, and all of that. And so I was just like, wow. And then I read a little bit more of the message and uh, he was talking about like everything leads to Jesus. Everything is about leading people back to Jesus and that's what you're doing in your videos. And so that was just like such a, an inspiring thing. So I'm driving down the highway and it's like, you know, like when you think you've done enough and God's like, no, that's not enough. Like that feeling of like, ah, oh, I got to do more. Like it was just this feeling of uh, like, uh, and I knew exactly, exactly what it was. Like, you know, I did a video last week talking about um, not even last week, like four days ago, five days ago um, about my rent and how I had $58 left and then didn't post another video about any financial situation. And so uh, <laughs> that, it was just like, okay, God, I did it, there, now I'm done. And I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm not gonna talk about my financial situation anymore until you bring me the blessing. And I just have this feeling of like, no, God wants me to document the whole the whole journey and really put it out there. And it's like, there's just this fear of, of looking bad you know, of, of being that vulnerable and and this fear of just like looking like a failure, looking like a, like I'm full of it. And um, and I was driving, I just, I just had this realization like, I need to share that and I need to be, and I need to be documenting that because there are people out there that will see these videos that need to hear exactly what I'm saying because they're going through the same thing or worse. So it's like they they need to see that first of all, someone else is going through it so they don't feel lonely, so they don't feel like they're on their own. But also at the same time, like they need to see those videos to understand that there is hope. So then when God does provide, it's just like, it's, it's a blessing and it's a miracle and, and people will see that and they can believe that for themselves. And so, yeah, but there's just like this fear of looking bad. And it's like, what's more important, looking bad to people or looking bad to God? And it's like, I just need to get over that. And I need to realize that this isn't about me. God isn't using me to make it about me. God is using me to help others. My life and my vulnerability in these videos is about helping others. It's not about helping myself. Like if I post a video about my financial situation, it's not because I want people to give me money. Like that is not what I want at all. I, I post it because God is telling me to do that and I know it's gonna help people. I know it's gonna inspire people. Um, and I know it's gonna lead people back to God when he does send that, that financial blessing. And so, but it's like also inside of me, there's this little bit of hesitation, a little bit of doubt of like, is God really gonna show up? Because if God doesn't show up, I'm gonna look like an idiot and it's gonna look like God doesn't really provide and it's just bad on all areas. And so uh, there's a little bit of, of doubt and hesitation of like, you know, like a little doubt and hesitation. And so the more videos that I post publicly on Instagram about my financial situation, the more faith it develops because I am, I am taking action in faith. I'm doing these videos and I'm posting, you know, in faith and the Bible says faith without works is dead. Like I have to take action in alignment with faith. And that is the greatest level of action I can take with faith, which is exposing my financial situation and telling the world I believe that God's gonna provide. So yeah. So let me get back to where, where I am financially. So uh, I have my insurance is due in five days and it's 230 dollars my phone is due uh today which is 150 dollars um and i got some other like random bills and stuff like that i got a quarter tank of gas and i've got 30 dollars in my bank account and i've got 30 dollars in cash
Oh yeah, and my credit card payment is due uh, on the 20th. So if I don't make my credit card payment on the 20th, it's gonna be a ding against my credit score, which is gonna be a ding against my grandpa's credit score because he co-signed on it for me, which is just not uh, a good situation for my lack of finances to affect his credit. Um, not okay. And if I don't make my insurance payment on the 20th, then my insurance will lapse. So. Uh, the anxiety. <laughs> so basically, I need a miracle. I need a miracle. So God, there. I'm being vulnerable. I'm exposing myself yet again. Uh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so please god provide i trust you're gonna provide i trust you're gonna provide uh yeah you know and i have these moments of like you know i read the uh part of the bible yesterday in proverbs where it says like basically like if you're lazy you're gonna be poor and i was thinking dang i need to stop being so lazy and then i realized like i'm not being lazy at all like i'm freaking busting my ass over here like i'm at church four days a week i'm serving like i am going through a massive transformation you know mentally and emotionally i am supporting people that i love i'm putting tons of energy into people like i'm putting energy into myself and and i'm coaching you know i'm coaching my clients and i'm trying to build a brand like i am not being lazy like I'm just I'm crazy busy and, and I'm tired and so um yeah so it's like part of me was not going to go in today just so I could work and message a bunch of people and, and try to get clients and all that stuff um and uh yeah I was going to do that and then the other part is like that's that's me that's me making the miracle happen. So, yeah. But I did think about someone that I did coaching with. Um, I did one coaching session with her on purpose. And I really thought she was going to be a client. And I thought about her either this morning or last night. And I opened Facebook and she had liked one of my videos like for the first time. And I just messaged her. I was like, that's so crazy. I was just thinking about you. And she said, that one session we did has changed my life. I bought a gym and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, what? So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know how the money's going to show up. I have no clue. I'm just trusting that it will. So, and I just need to keep being vulnerable and just keep being vulnerable. I just need to keep exposing myself. And the more I expose myself, the more the pride disappears and the shame disappears and the guilt disappears and the needing to look good disappears, the more it all disappears. So, and I need to get that stuff out of my life. <laughs>